Hey love, it's Aviola and welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. Uh, we are celebrating 12 days of blissness, 12 days of blissness. This is my fourth, third or fourth, but I'm thinking fourth. <laughs> it's the fourth annual 12 days of blissness. Actually, let me see if I can put that on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Happy 12 days of blissness. So 12 days of blissness are your blissness is like your business, except for it is fun. Let me see. There's a way to pin this quote, but I don't think that's working out right now. Yes, Goddess Tiffany threw up her Guyanese flags. And then she said, do you do mentorships? I love it. That's it, sis. Wear your flags. <laughs> and ask all at the same time. She said, do you do mentorships? Actually, all of my mentorships, I had to switch everything. Wait, first of all, GT Massive, big up. That's how Guyanese people, how we are legally required to greet each other when we see each other. <laughs> All of my mentorship sis, the way that I have to do it is through my programs. So you can either, if you are feeling ready to join a program like the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, do that. Or if you're not ready, just come hang out in my free Facebook group. Ask me questions for free and have me answer them for free and I can mentor you for free through the group. And the Facebook group is imanifestmagic.com, imanifestmagic.com. Oh, yay, my girl goddess Tia is in the house. I adore her. I'll tell you all about her in a second, but she is amazing. She is a healer. She is a guru. She knows what is going on. Hello, goddess Aurora. Goddess Aurora says, love the hat. Yes, I am about to put up or attempt to put up a Christmas tree <laughs> in a little bit. Um, it is the 12th annual, 12th annual, whoa, fourth annual 12 days of blissness, 12 days of giveaways, 12 days of fun. And today, in addition to me trying to put up this Christmas tree, we are going to talk about, we're going to just prepare for you to set your goals. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about you setting your goals and your objectives for 20. 19. Um, but today I want you to think about and celebrate what you accomplished this year. So let me know in the comments what you accomplished this year. And, you know, I know that you are some pretty amazing people. Like I said, my friend Goddess Tia is here. Goddess Tia is incredible. She has an event called the Creative Preneur Summit. Hopefully she does it again next year. And it was beautiful. I got to go with her and be a speaker. We were both speakers in the Caribbean on a cruise, and it was incredible. But we don't celebrate what we've done. We only keep our eyes on the future like, okay, what am I doing next? I didn't do this, I didn't do that. And we focus on what we didn't do. I want today for us to celebrate what you did do. Goddess Tiffany says, going to the gym, but yay to blissness, yay, yes. Going to the gym is important, very important. I'm celebrating that as well. I've been good about going to my yoga class. I've been good about going to kickboxing, although I can assure you, as I told you, in another video, I'm certain I'm in the bottom 50% of both of them, but I go, I show up, and 90% of it is showing up. Goddess Saskia, beautiful name, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, says, just felt called to watch the Sunday video, and now you're live again. Yes, here I am. Thank you for all your abundant blessings. You are welcome. Coach Roz is in the house. Goddess Gail is in the house. Goddess Elisa is in the house. All right, so y'all, I'm gonna try to put up this Christmas tree right now. Um, it's not a complicated tree. <laughs> and in fact, I'm, uh, the reason I have a belly dancing skirt over my t-shirt is that the Christmas tree skirt that I ordered didn't come yet. And I was like, okay, this is gonna work out with it <laughs> for right now. Okay, so all right, so I see we got the base of the tree right here, the bottom of the tree. And meanwhile, you are celebrating what did you get accomplished? What did you get done in any aspect of your life in 2018? Did you fall in love? Did you put yourself back out there? Did you get rid of a relationship that you needed to? 
Yes, right? <laughs> and shut it down. Did you set boundaries with your family, your friends, your loved ones? Did you finally launch your business and get it out there? Did you finally join the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy? I see some of y'all, and I see a lot of y'all too on Instagram who did join the Academy but haven't come to the VIP Facebook group yet. Join us over there. Did you hit your financial goals? Or did you just hit your self-love goals and you're finally getting it like, okay, I can love, honor, and cherish myself unapologetically and that does not take from anybody else. Let's celebrate it. Goddess Gail says, been consistently posting videos. Yes, you have on my Facebook business page all year and released 30 pounds in 2018. Yay for Goddess Gail, the spiritual weight loss guru. If you're looking for spiritual weight loss, Goddess Gail is the queen. Goddess Rosie Reed, hello. Hello, uh, Goddess Shanice. Goddess Linda is in the house. We are celebrating what did you accomplish this year? Accomplish, achieve, those words are so loaded. What did you get done that you love, that you honor, that you appreciate this year? Goddess Allison says, I launched my podcast. Yay, that's huge. You went to a Lenny Kravitz concert. She went to a Lenny Kravitz concert all by herself and had a ball. That's good. Oh, my husband got you coming to his concerts now, huh? <laughs> she says she also took her first cruise. That is amazing. I took my first cruise last year and it was a big, big deal because I had fear of being out there on the water, I was like, okay, so we're just out there and like, if something happens, like then what? <laughs> so for me, that was like a huge, huge deal and a phobia that I could cross off. I'm glad you went on your first cruise. She says, so much juicy abundance. Goddess Gail says, joined the Academy this year. She sure did and launched her weight loss course, her spiritpreneur, her spiritual weight loss course. Goddess Elisa says she dropped 31 pounds. That is awesome. Yay, Goddess Elisa, that is amazing. Goddess Rosie says she started her healthy living transition business. Yes, you did. And that sounds awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Goddess Tia says you were great on the cruise. Thank you, my love. Goddess Tia says opening myself to a relationship. Dating is rough, but you are doing it. You are doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. And so by just opening ourselves up, uh, you know, and saying, okay, this is what I'm ready to invite into my life, that by itself is a big thing. And so one of the things that you may want to do, you know, is in addition to saying, okay, I'm open to love and, you know, doing the apps or, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, you also want to just go to places where your person would be, right? So where would they be? Where would they be hanging out? What events would they be at? What would they be doing? Go, go out there and, and hang out at those places. All right, so Goddess Shani says she hit her weight loss goals. She healed her body. Ooh, beautiful. Inside out. She says she went vegan. She took her first flight, which was her biggest fear ever. Yay. All right, have y'all noticed while I'm sitting here, I'm like struggling with this? Because <laughs> I feel like, don't you feel like the tr this thing on the bottom of the tree is supposed to go like this? But it's only going like this. But... Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so let's set this, set this down here and let's get another piece and then I will get back to your goals in a second. Okay, so we have some instructions here which we can read if all else fails. <laughs> all right, and then here's the top of the tree. Okay, I know it looks tacky now, but it's not gonna look tacky when it's all lit up and whatnot. Okay, so here is one part of it. All right, let's see what else we got here. I think it's in four parts. Oh, it's in three parts. Okay, there's this part. They all look exactly the same. Okay, I feel like they should have packed it in a larger box, but it's okay. Oh, okay, I see what it's doing. Look, 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 look. Okay, so let me see. Let's try to put this part. Okay, so that is flat. Try to put that. That feels like it should go in here. Okay. Let me read some more goals. <laughs> All right. 
So we talked about Goddess Shanice. She went vegan. She took her first flight. She uh, That was a fear that she had. Goddess Sharma, if you're just joining us, we are celebrating. Before we even get into goal setting in our 12 Days of Blissness, we're going to talk about goals tomorrow. Right now, we're just celebrating. What did you do in 2019 that we want to celebrate? So Goddess Sharma says, I accomplished self-love. Oh, that's beautiful. Like, let's just feel that reverberate throughout our universe here. She says also that she, oh, she got over her fear of traveling alone out of the country. All right, all you goddesses who are traveling, putting together the retreat for June in the south of France. And so I'm hoping to see you there with us. It may be by application only this year because I want to be very particular about the group, but Y'all are my peeps, you're in. Okay, so Goddess Michelle says she started her Clifton Strengths Coaching. Yes, and looking forward to working with teens, particularly teens of color. That's so exciting, Goddess Michelle. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And let me know also what you decided about celebrating the holidays with your mom uh, that we were talking about in the last Goddess Temple Sunday. So. Coach Ross says, I love a white tree. She says, I grew up with a beautiful white tree. Yay, never had a real one. I don't think I ever, I ever have a real Christmas tree either. No, I think all my Christmas trees have been, I've never had a white tree. This is my first white tree, but I've never had a real Christmas tree. Let me know in the comments for those of you who, who celebrate Christmas, if you are, if you had a white tree or only had green trees like I did or are artificial trees for you like tacky? <laughs> All right, how are we doing this? Oh, okay, so this part comes off of here. Okay. All right, so we got it. We're doing this. We're doing this. All right, let's see. More goals. Okay, so Goddess Rosie says, you have been building my Instagram following, averaging about 100 followers a month. I think she means I that she's been building them because I don't think I'm building your Instagram following, but if I am, that's awesome. <laughs> either, either way, that is amazing. All right, so here we go. So we got this part, so this comes off. Now this can sit in the that other piece. I hope this does not scratch my velvet chair because I will be very upset and call these Christmas tree people if this tree scratches my chair. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, all right, there we go, y'all. It's coming together. There we go, okay. All right, so there's the bottom. Here is the middle. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it needs to, it has to sit like this. It's defying the laws of physics here. All right, so let's figure out the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm laughing because my cat Annabelle like went running like, I don't know what you are doing right now, but it does not look safe for me. All right. And does anybody know what I should be doing that I'm not doing besides reading the instructions <laughs> as to why this is not doing what it's supposed to be doing? Hmm. It looks simple. Why is this not happening? All right, I'm going to screw this out. All right, I'll come back to that. <laughs> Goddess Aurora is cracking up. She says, not a real tree. She says, I can get with this. Yes, I mean, I don't need pine needles on my floor and my carpet. I tend to be allergic to stuff. I, yeah, let's keep it like this. Goddess Michelle says she needs to approach the Christmas topic with her mom again soon. She says today would have been her dad's 88th birthday. So we're getting through that right now. I'm sending so much love to you, so much love to your family. And so today, definitely, if you can, if you're into lighting candles, light a candle, you know, in your dad's name. And let's just, you know, we're sending love to you. Sending love to you, Goddess Michelle. And how beautiful that you were gifted with a dad that you love. And I'm sure I feel he's with you and enjoying the love that you have for him as well. 
Goddess Gina says, I became a certified, yes, art therapy life coach. That is so exciting. That is so, 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 so exciting. I studied art therapy. My degree is not in art therapy, though, but I am a big, big lover of art therapy. That is wonderful. And she is a crystal Reiki practitioner. She says, it's been a long time in the making, much more to celebrate, but those are the two big ones. Goddess Michelle says, love your tree. Thank you, Goddess Michelle, if I can figure this out. Should I just try to put the tree on like this? Like, is that, is that logical? Like, why is it doing that? All right, let me look at the instructions. Fine. <laughs> Window, read the instructions. Okay. See, like, look how the picture is. Like, the picture, the base of the tree, let's see. Oh, they're like, before returning to the retailer, <laughs> read this. Okay, see, y'all know what y'all are doing here. Okay, assembly instructions, remove the packaging, figure seven, hmm, branch shaping instructions. No, I need base of the tree instructions, y'all. Okay. I think I need to call in recruits to help me with this. <laughs> so by tomorrow's broadcast at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the tree will be up. But let me finish reading this. Okay. So Goddess Aurora says, wait one moment. Did those lights come on the tree? Yes, sis. That is the whole point in this tree. It is plug and play. And I got it from Wayfair. And it has the lights already in the tree. So you are not like struggling and fighting to like get the lights on the tree. And it was at least uh, advertised as very simple. You put it all together and plug it in. So by tomorrow, I will have that. Um, right now, this uh, tree stand doesn't want me to be great. But it's okay because I got greatness in my blood. I'm about to make this happen. <laughs> Goddess Michelle says she never reads the instructions either. Yeah, like, come on, hello. <laughs> so I want you, your instructions are for today to write down 25 amazing things that you did or participated in or that happened to you or that you made happen for 2018. This is a must before we even get into goal setting. Because if you keep your eyes on the prize and stay focused on future, 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 without stopping to celebrate and being like, oh my goodness, here's my celebration, whether it is in the area of relationships or your health and your body or you know your family and your loved ones or you know your business or in the financial arena or in spirituality or self-love, if you don't stop to celebrate, how are you gonna know when you get there, right? How are you gonna know when you get there? And that's what the point of life is. The point of life is to, you know, have these joys, all right? <laughs> Goddess Yashika, my new sister from another mister is laughing at me in the comments. Goddess Rosie says she started her healthy living transition business in August and her first client lost 30 pounds in three months. That is beautiful. Make sure that you get your testimonial. Ask her to do a video if she can. Take some beautiful pictures of her. Have her take some beautiful pictures of herself. Get a quote and start to share that with us. Even get her on a video. You get her on a video. Interview her live on the video, and there is a case study. And then we all know Healthy Living Transitions by Goddess Rosie gets the job done. Well done, Goddess Rosie. That is awesome. Goddess Linda says she did that for her 40th year. I'm not sure which part you did, Goddess Linda. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was like trying to put together the tree or the travel or the which, which part of it, but whichever part of it we are celebrating. All right, my loves. So 12 Days of Blissness kicks off today. We're going to have giveaways. We're going to have all kinds of fun stuff. And let me choose someone at random right now to gift them my coaching business in a box kit. That's our giveaway today. And in order to win, all you gotta do is participate. All right, coaching business in a box kit. Where is, okay, so Goddess Rosie, 
her healthy living transition business and her clients are like losing weight right and left. So she needs the coaching business in a box kit because it has in it all the forms that you need to operate your coaching business and all the things that you, that I wish that I would have known when I was starting mine. So goddess Rosie, you are the winner of the coaching business in a box kit. If you didn't win one and you want one, go to coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com and be sure to take my free spiritual selling secrets masterclass at richgoddess.club. Richgoddess.club for those of you who want to take the free masterclass. Yes. Okay. Goddess Linda says the list. Yes. Top 25 amazing things that you did in 2018. Goddess Rosie Reed says, yes, yes, coaching business in a box kit for you. All right, my loves. Hello, Goddess Samantha. I will see you tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, wherever you are watching this video, and hopefully this uh, tree situation <laughs> will be put together by then. We will figure it out. Is it a bait and switch, or is this tree really going to work it out? Goddess Michelle, is celebrating you. We're celebrating you, Goddess Michelle and Goddess Saskia says, yeah, for Rosie. All right, my loves, be seen, be heard, be a blissness movement, right? Why just have a business when you could have a whole blissness? Namaste, loves. 25 things that you did to rock the year. 25. In any aspect of your business, any aspect of your life, not just your business. 